Hi everybody, I promised to do a quick video uh, explaining how to combine uh, CSS rules using classes. So I'm just going to keep this very brief. So I've just created a simple HTML page that has three paragraphs on it. So paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, three different names and I have them displaying over here on the right hand side. So no styling associated with them. Here we sit, okay? So nice and easy. I think this is pretty straightforward. So. I'm going to go back to site.css and I have already created three CSS rules or uh, three classes, okay? So I have created a style rule called dot italic. So the dot indicates that it's going to be used as a class. If it was an ID, it'd have the hash, okay? So this is a class. So inside my class style ruling, called italic, I've written the CSS rule font style italic. So if I use this, hopefully it will change the text to be italic text, okay? Fine. So there's style rule one. So let's just see one work, okay? So I'm gonna go straight back. So that's italic. So if I say that of, of my paragraph that's containing the text of Barry Allen, I'm gonna say class is equals to I T A L I C. Okay, so paragraph class equals to italic. So I'm looking in my CSS uh, file for a style rule that's of type class that's called italic, and we want to style Barry Allen as italic text. So you can look over here very quickly. Oops, that Barry Allen, the text has turned into italics text, and the other two have been left alone, which is absolutely fine. So let's just go again. So um, so I'm going to go quickly back. The next one I have is a style rule, which is of type class, and I've named it bold. And I've said that the font weight must be bold. So if someone uses this rule, the text will go to bold. Okay, cool. Let's see it happen. Uh, class equals to bold. Ah, okay, cool. You can see it. So Diana Prince has turned to bold. Super. Um, okay. And the last CSS rule, which is of type class, we call underline. And I've said that it's going to be text decoration underline. Okay, cool. So let's just apply this to Bruce Wayne. Uh, class equals to, uh, what do we call underline? Oh, okay, cool. So there's three, three rules. That's fantastic. Excellent. Now, what happens if I want Barry Allen to be italic and underlined. Oh, well, maybe I could write a new style rule and I could combine what we have. So, oh, okay. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna create a new, a new one called new style on S-T-Y-L-E, okay. So dot new style, and I'm gonna apply this to Barry Allen. So I want font weight to be italic, okay. I can do that. And what do we say? We want it to be underlined as well. Okay, that's excellent. So I'm going to take these. So I'm kind of, it feels like I'm recreating or duplicating some of my stuff here, but oh, look, let's, we'll see what happens. I'm only interested in results. So up here we go. And I want the Barry Allen to be italic and underlined. That's what we've done. And I'm going to go say new, new style. Oh, okay, cool. Excellent. So Barry Allen is now italic and underlined, but it feels like I have repeated myself. I've created a rule for rules that were already there. So do you know what? I've kind of, I've just been thinking about it. Wouldn't it have been really cool if I could have started to combine some of these to apply different styles any way I wanted. So do you know what? I'm going to delete this. Okay, so that's gone. I'm going to go back to my file and I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so this is, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so I wanted Barry Allen to be italic and underlined. Okay, well, I can make it be italic T. A L I C. So there's italic. Okay. Do you know I'd love if I could actually add in another class here? And the honest answer is I can. So I can say class italic space underline. Ah. Excellent. That's what that's what we were expecting. So now Barry Allen is italic and now it's underlined. I am applying two different class style rules to the one paragraph. So the paragraph that we have here is being styled by italic and it's been styled by underline. 
so I'm able to combine the CSS rules. So the two different CSS rule blocks are applying against one paragraph. And if we wanted to push it a little further, how about italic underline, or how about bold? Oh, I can spell it B-O-L-D. Now it's bold, underlined, and italic. So what I've done is these three CSS rules are being used against the one paragraph. And that's the, 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 the nice aspect of it. So I'm getting to reuse some of my CSS stylings. So I could have separated out, like say, italic or bold or underlined, and then reuse these again in my site on different tags. So these have been used as class, and it's very important to kind of specify this, because we could reuse these, these again and again and again. A class styling can be used multiple times um, on our pages, so we can have multiple classes. When it's an ID, it's only for one, okay? So that's the kind of that's the kind of very low level intro to how you can actually combine these. So I think it'd be really good maybe for your lab work this week to see can you actually just recreate this and understand fundamentally what's going on with it. Maybe in a couple of weeks we'll try maybe next week and the week after we'll add in some more complex uh, CSS combinations just to see do we really understand what's happening with it. Okay. So guys, I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions, please let me know.